Hello everyone, two weeks ago I did this, let's see, you can have a very, ex not once, but twice. Stream, let's try again. It's a... Uh, that was pure clavichord violence, certainly not a bebung. Luckily last week I did this instead. So this sounds much more like a vibrato or bebung. To come to that uh, result I simply did a quick search online and found from a reliable source a video in which uh, the, the movement of the hand wasn't shown but one could clearly see the, the, the con what happened between the tangent and the string when a vibrato was produced so by looking at that I tried to reproduce the same effect and worked out which movement of the hand I, I had to do I mean there is not much there is not many options, one has to go in an up and down fashion to change the tension of the string and then make the pitch fluctuate. But I didn't stop there, so I went to uh, some original sources of how to play vibrato and here you have CP Bax Issei and also I uh, brought up the, a Kindle edition of uh, a clavichord manual written by Johan Benson. I hope I said the name right. I think it is Johan Benson, an American lady who uh, not too long ago passed away and uh, was an incredible clavichord player. And she gives an explanation how to do the bebung. So if we go to CP Bach's, I'm going to read here, there is one little paragraph which is in the chapter, chapter on performance, it's paragraph 20, and he says, C.P. Bach, a long affettuoso tone is performed with vibrato. The finger that depresses and holds the key is gently shaken. Doesn't say how. The sign of a vibrato appears in example A. The best effect is achieved when the finger withholds its shake until half the value of the note has passed. If we then go to uh, Johan Benson's manual, she also gives a few instructions on how to do the bebung or vibrato on the clavichord. And uh, I'm gonna quickly say here, with your hand in playing position, lower and hold a key with your third finger so the tangent presses against the string so the, the tangent must make contact with the strings first so create a tone I believe then vary the pressure by pulsating your finger going farther down on the key pulling forward slightly and then up again without releasing the tangent from the strings. This causes the pitch to fluctuate. Return to the original pressure and pitch and hold. So it seems to me that there is a creation of tone, then a fluctuation, and then it finishes with the original tone. Uh, it seems quite a, a precise uh, production of something. So this is, of course, a step further than what I did and I'll need to practice uh, to basically improve this technique, which is new to me. Then a few points here, uh, Johan Benson always. Listen to the way the tone begins, blooms as it trembles and finally fades away. If you push the key down too aggressively, you can produce a nasty twang. Are you familiar with this? Let's see. To avoid tension, you may gradually raise your limber wrist very slightly while you play. And then, uh, actually a very interesting note, the degree, quality and speed of the bebung, vibrato, 
depend on your clavichord, its stringing, your personal technique and the music you have chosen. So here is uh, what I learned since doing that video two weeks ago, uh, at least uh, in theory. Then I did a practical application before going uh, deep into these sources. And now it only remains to experiment, practice and of course choose where to my taste I can apply this technique. I hope this video was useful to those of you who play the clavichord and uh, perhaps were not familiar with the sources I quoted today, perhaps not familiar with the technique itself. As we know, the clavichord is the only keyboard instrument that can produce a vibrato. Okay, that's it uh, for this week and I will see you next time.